New evidence has emerged in the death of the 25-year-old Shanquala Robinson, who was severely beaten by a friend while on a group trip in Mexico. Despite claims by friends that Robinson had alcohol poisoning, police have determined that the statement was a lie. Robinson's murder has gained widespread attention and Nancy Grace, a well-known legal commentator and journalist, has taken up the case to bring awareness and justice. Grace believes Robinson was likely set up for murder by her travel companions, the Cabo Six, who also tampered with evidence by providing false statements to Robinson's family and the police. Many people are questioning the loss and the lack of justice in this case, and Robinson's mother has expressed her desire for an arrest and conviction of those responsible. Nancy has been exceptional in her work, leaving no stone unturned in the Shinquello murder case. One critical factor that incriminated the Cabo Six was the revelation made by Nancy that someone was videotaping the incident. In the video, Shinquella can be seen being mercilessly beaten by one of her travel mates. The footage captures slaps, scratches, punches, kicks, and hair pulling. She was alone, defenseless, and did not appear to want to fight back. It was evident that the intention was murder, as described by activist Tamika Mallory during a press conference. The video also revealed the toxic nature of the friendship between Shinquella and her companions. Despite the tragic outcome, people admired Shinquella for her patience and resilience in the face of adversity. She chose peace instead of retaliation, and the public organized rallies, protests, and church gatherings to show solidarity with the family of the victim and pressure the authorities to hold the suspects accountable. The video has been a crucial piece of evidence in the case and has sparked a widespread demand for justice. The autopsy report revealed the extent of the victim's injuries, including a severe blow to the head, neck, and spinal injuries. Alcohol poisoning was not the cause of death. The legal team led by Ben Crump and Suan has been exceptional, uncovering new evidence and witnesses to support their case. They have demanded the extradition of the Cabo Six from U.S. to Mexico, where they can be prosecuted under Mexican law. Suan expressed disbelief at the rigidity of the U.S. government, and in a letter to President Biden, she requested his intervention to ensure justice for the victim. In an interview, Suan explained that the purpose of the letter was to provide a synopsis of the case to the administration and urge them to take necessary measures to expedite the progress of the case. The victim's family deserves closure, and we will not rest until justice is served. Suen from Shaquella's legal team explained that the urgency to send the letter to Joe Biden's administration was due to the evidence of physical assault dissipating with time. The letter included statements from Ben Crump and the family's attorneys and urging swift action to hold the criminals responsible. When news of the letter spread, the White House secretary was forced to respond. However, the response was vague and showed helplessness. People responded to the statement negatively, wondering why the FBI has not issued any arrest warrants or put anyone behind bars when evidence of foul play in witness testimony is available. The concierge of the farmhouse where the murder occurred came forward with a statement indicating foul play and that Shinquella did not fit in with her friends. The murder has been labeled as femicide, but the U.S. government has not defined it as such, causing the case to run in circles. The loophole is an American-lined order. How Shanquella Robinson's friend admitted what really happened. She embarked on a trip to Mexico with six companions. Initially, some of them claimed that she had died from alcohol poisoning. However, her death certificate revealed that she died due to a spinal cord and neck injury. It is time for the actual culprit behind Shanquella Robinson's untimely demise to face the law. One of the deceased friends has confessed to lying about the true cause of Robinson's death. Keep watching to find out more. It has been over a month since the death of Shanquella Robinson, a successful businesswoman from Charlotte, North Carolina. She went on a trip to Mexico with her best friend Paula Cook and five other people. However, after a thorough investigation, it has been revealed that Cook, Shanquella's best friend of over five years, has been lying about what happened to her. On Friday, October 28, 2022, Robinson, Paula Cook, and the others named Malik Dyer, Winter Donovan, Alice Hyatt, Dignid Jackson, and this year Wiggins went to Cabo, Mexico. 
The next day, Saturday, October 29, 2022, Shanquella Robinson's other friend, Salamandra Robinson, received a phone call from Khalil about Shanquella feeling unwell and having vomited a few times. They thought Shanquella was dealing with a hangover, but that was not the case. Shanquella's parents were informed of the sad news by her best friend, Colin Hoon. Public has concluded that Cook is the biggest liar of them all. When Cook spoke to Salamandra, he emphatically stated that Shanquella had died due to alcohol poisoning. However, Salamandra said she was a little calm because she trusted Khalil and believed what he was telling her. She said he came back and told us it was alcohol poisoning. We were common guests because we trusted him, and we kind of believed what he was telling us. As expected, Khalil and the five others had to leave Mexico early to avoid legal troubles. So they returned to the U.S. a day earlier. Salamandra said that after Khalil returned to the U.S., he brought Shanquella's luggage to the house and reiterated that she had died from alcohol poisoning. In fact, Cook kept coming around the family, trying to make it seem like he was innocent and did not know what happened to Shanquella. He kept coming around the house every day with his mother. Shanquella's sister, Krilla Long, said something was eating Cook up inside. Now that stuff has happened, I can go back and say that's why he was pacing. I mean, you would have thought he was coming off something like he was high. He was nervous, he was sweating, and grabbing his beard, Long said. It had to be eating him up. Then when Cook went back to Salamandra's house, he took Winter Donovan and Digna Jackson, two of the three girls that were with them in Mexico, with him. After the autopsy results were released, it became clear that Callie had instructed his associates to perform a thorough examination of Shanquella's body. The findings showed that her death was not caused by alcohol as previously thought. Instead, it revealed a broken neck, a cracked spine, signs of physical assault. Channel 9 obtained a copy of Robinson's death certificate, which listed the cause of death as severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation. The certificate stated that she died within 15 minutes of sustaining the injuries and there was no mention of alcohol poisoning. The medical examiner's report raised questions about whether Shanquella's death was accidental or the result of violence. The report stated that the cause of death was consistent with physical assault, and the examiner noted this on the certificate. Salamandra, a friend of Robinson's, confirmed that she and her family had received photos of Shanquel's bruised and swollen face with a knot on her head, swollen eyes, and split lips. Despite the evidence of foul play, U.S. officials in Mexico reportedly denied that Shanquel's death was a murder, citing the police investigation's lack of evidence. This has angered fans who are demanding justice for Shanquel's murder. They are calling for all six of her friends to be held accountable for their actions, and some even urging the U.S. government to extradite the Jenny Jackson and the others to Mexico to face trial. One fan wrote, a reminder that the murderers of Shanquel Robinson are enjoying the holidays with their family while her family is still waiting for justice. Don't let justice for her murder die. Keep talking and demanding accountability. Hashtag Shanquella Robinson. Another fan added, to the United States Embassy and the FBI, it's very imperative that the U.S. government apprehends and extradites the Jenny Jackson and the others to Mexico for the murder of Ms. Shanquella Robinson. They all need to be in a Mexican prison. Shanquella's father, Bernard Robinson, was emotional in his interview with the North Carolina Beat, saying that his daughter was left for dead. He expressed disbelief that her best friend, Khalil, would leave her in that state. The case is being investigated as a femicide, which is a killing of a woman because of her gender or specific circumstances. The warrant for the arrest of the alleged perpetrator, an American, has been issued, and authorities are working towards the extradition of the suspect to Mexico. Michael Letieri, an expert on femicide in Mexico, says that it is necessary to open the investigation as a femicide when a woman is killed in the country. The Robinson family and fans hope that justice will be served soon.